Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome back to another mod A. And today's mod that we are showcasing is yet another asset pack. This one is created by Zermox, the creator of the light asset pack and the construction asset pack that was showcased last week, and I think also the second week as well. But anyway, awesome mod pack maker, and he has created another mod pack, and this one is a farm asset pack and in it contains all sorts of goodies to spice up your farmlands including tractors and boxes and apples and trailers and all that stuff so we're just going to go into the editable dev test map and go into the little farmland just outside of town if you guys are wondering how to get access to the dev test map or make it available to edit um, I will link the tutorial video down in the description below so I say we go over here and kind of make this whole area here fancified with the stuff that Zermox put in his pack. But first, I'm going to delete some of the stuff in the main part of the town because it generally slows down my computer quite a bit when I'm trying to edit on the dev test map. Alright, so the dev test town is gone, and now we can pay attention to the farmland over here and begin looking at all of the different models that were added into the game. So I think the first one that we're going to look at are the tractors that he has added. He has all sorts of different colors, and since Nelson has added this handy dandy search feature up at the top, I no longer have to rummage through the whole thing. I can just search for tractor, and we have all the different colors here. So there is a tractor wagon, and we'll get into that. It like attaches to the back of the tractor. But there are four different kinds of tractors, or at least, well, not kinds, but different colors. And I will place them all down in a row, and then we can look at all the different colors. Alright, so here are all the tractors in all their different colors. And I shall say, after placing these all down, these are really nice models. Because, I mean, sure they're not very detailed, but they match so well to the vehicle designs in Unturned 3.0 right now. So I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now of what the Jeeps look like in Unturned 3.0, the, the current drivable Jeeps. And then if you look at these, like the wheel designs and the whole design of the interior and everything looks a lot similar to those. So it fits so well into the environment and it looks like something that Nelson would create as models of his own and that's that's what I like a lot about these models. Now these obviously aren't drivable tractors. I think it would actually be pretty cool if a tractor was a drivable vehicle. You guys should tweet that to Nelson to make a, a drivable tractor and really slow. Anyway, it would be pointless but, but it would be fun to drive. Anyway, so those are the four different colors. There is blue, green, orange, and red in case you guys are colorblind. And moving on from there, let's check out... I guess we can try out the tractor wagon. So this tractor wagon is like a big giant thing on the back that you could fill with in this case since I what are they growing hay or something or wheat or whatever you could fill it up with some wheat um, this this mod pack does come with apples so if you'd like you could probably fill this thing up with apples um, but this tractor wagon is designed to look like it's attached to the back of the tractor if you want it to so if I move it back over here um, let me see if I can get it lined up right so as you can see, like, they can line up like that. Like, uh, let me, I just got to get it perfect. There we go. I got it lined up a little bit. Now, since this is on a hill, it would probably have to be tilted a little bit. But you guys get the idea. It fits perfectly, and it goes um, in perfect conjunction with the truck if you'd like it to, or the tractor, sorry. And uh, pretty cool. If you'd like, you could fill it up with all sorts of different models that are already in the game. And that moves me on to apples. And when you place it down, it's basically just like one single apple like this. I mean, it's a definitely a detailed apple at that. And same with the red apple. It's the same exact size and everything. But it's just, of course, red. So I'm going to put that next to it as well. There we go. So as you can see, red apple, green apple, same things, same models, just different colors. Um, if you'd like to fill up this trailer, it would take you a long time. I'm sure with the copy and paste tools it would probably be quicker, but still it'd probably take a while. One thing that I'd like Zermox to make is like a pile of apples, so that would make this process easier because it's not very often that you'd put like one apple on the ground. But now that I think about it, I think it would be pretty cool to put these floating next to the trees or down on the ground next to the trees. But if you cut down the tree, then the apples would be floating, so that'd be kind of weird. So you could just put them down on the ground, and that would make the, the game look pretty realistic. And with that, that kind of actually gave me an idea. Like, what if you... When you were cutting down trees, you had a chance of it dropping an apple, and you could eat that apple. You know, that's a pretty good idea, and you know, you guys should tweet Nelson about that too. 
possible apple drops from cutting down trees. Anyway, moving on, we now that we've covered the red and green apples, there is a small box which you can use to fill up with apples or other different things. When you place it down, it looks like, well, it just it just looks like a box, to be honest. It looks like a wooden box, not much detail to it. I mean, if you had like an umbrella or something and, and a table, you could set up like a little apple farming market thing on the corner of this farm or something to make it look pretty cool. I'm probably not going to spend that much time, but, you know, once again, different ideas of, of how you can implement these different models. So I'm going to fill this up with some apples a little bit and see what it looks like when you do that. All right, so I filled up this box with apples, and it actually looks pretty nice. And now that I've filled up the box, I can, of course, copy this whole thing and make the process a little bit easier. So anyway, that is pretty cool. Those are the apples and the boxes in this mod pack. Moving on to the next one, we're moving on to some bigger things. There is a full windmill, which is kind of like a mini little windmill. And then there's a trolley. I will start with the windmill. And when you place it down, it's just like a miniature little windmill. It's nicely detailed once again, and I really like how it just fits so perfectly into the theme of Unturned 3.0 right now. It looks like something that Nelson would model himself. And as you can see, the colors are perfect. The the frame is perfect. The, it's just it's just a perfect model, and it, it fits so well right there. I like it. Moving on to the next one, we have the trolley. And this is, once again, another one of these things that can be added to the back, well maybe it, maybe it can't, I don't know, but I, I would assume that it can be added to the back of this truck, but we're going to find out in a little bit, or this tractor, I don't know why I keep on calling them trucks, but anyway, you can put it on the back, this one's a bit more friendly for holding apples rather than this massive wagon on the back, but um, as you can see, if I line it up right, it can look like it's added to the back, or if you'd like, you can just leave it on its own and make it look like just a big box of apples or some sort of unattached trailer, which I think I'm going to do right here. Just turn it like that, tilt it downwards, and put it down flat on the ground. Anyway, so that is the trolley right there. If you'd like, you could fill it up with apples once again, but to fill up that box, it actually took kind of a little bit, so I'm not going to do that. But with that trolley, that concludes all the different models in this mod pack. Super cool mod pack. I love how perfect it fits with the design of Unturned 3.0. It's not too complex to where it's looking like some sort of fancy Unturned 3.0, but it's not too simplistic to where it's well, looks like a half-assed thing. Make sure to give Zermox some love for his perfect modeling and give him some encouragement to do some more mod packs. If you guys come across any mods in the Unturned community, or if you create them yourselves, make sure to comment it down below and I will add it to my list of things to showcase for mod a but anyway that is all i have for now make sure to rate comment subscribe and do all that to rush because me like big boom is out <laughs>